New at 5, Drury University architecture students are helping the homeless in Springfield. Today, they unveiled their second sleeping cottage at the Revive 66 campground. Joe Hickman looks at the latest project to help the area's homeless. Since its opening in 2021, the Revive 66 campground has evolved into much more than just 10 teardrop trailers providing overnight stays for the homeless. It now feels more like home and sleeps around 50 to 60 per night in trailers and small huts with solar power and places to shower and do laundry. Dury's architecture department has taken up the cause, building more elaborate camper trailers. And we have a galley that pulls in and out. Plus planning and constructing two cottages. Yeah! The latest one dedicated today that is by far the more elaborate two-person structure with fiber cement siding and acrylic on the side that will glow at night. There are things that they've done here that you wouldn't have to do, but we also are trying to provide an elegant, dignified shelter for those who are unsheltered to hopefully uplift them and may help them get through that next day. The Stop the Blues Out of Homelessness organization sponsored the $17,500 cottage they gave 20 Drury Architect students not only lessons on their chosen career, but lessons on life as well. I know it didn't hit me personally until I saw the bed go in that this is really going to change someone's life forever. I think it can be really easy to pass judgment whenever we see things that we might not understand, but at the end of the day, we get to go home to beds. We have cars that we get to take home. We have access to things that these people simply do not. While the Revive 66 Camp Brown has certainly had its problems, ranging from trash being left around nearby businesses during the day when the grounds are closed, to homeless people being hit while crossing busy Chestnut Expressway, Drury students say the good that's being done here is definitely appreciated by those who need it. And I think that holds more value than any other project we've ever done to see the direct impact on the community and see how thankful they are for us to put in the work to design this and it's worth every bit of the journey for us. We need to put aside our prejudice and understand that we are all humans and we're all going through stuff and it's important to be kind to one another. The strength and the big hearts that they have is absolutely amazing and I'm just so happy that I'm a small part of helping them out. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.